Hi, so whilst doing a Pinterest search the other day, these split numbers popped up in my search results. These were actually nothing to do what I was searching for, but when I saw them, I know I've shown you how to do split monograms before in both Inkscape using all the fonts on your computer or Scan and Cut Canvas using the text that we have in there but I don't remember ever showing you how to split numbers again I know I've made shaped card with numbers but don't think I've ever showed you how to split them in this quick video I would show you how to do it and also if there's anybody that's new to my channel or you're just finding me for the very first time and you have a brother scan and cut then this tutorial may help you in the description box directly under, underneath this video on YouTube, I will leave both the links to my previous videos that I've just referred to. So you can always go and have a look at them as well. So I'm just going to get rid of this and then we'll start off with a number. So I'll come to the text logo and I'm going to choose this font on the right hand side. I'm going to double click to get the flashing cursor and using the backspace on my keyboard I'm going to get rid of the text and I'm just going to hit the number six on my keyboard to give me that chosen number. Now I'm just going to drag the box out to make it bigger. You can obviously size this to exactly how you want or you can size it at the end. Now again if you're new to scan and cut canvas you'll see that the numbers here and the measurement is here and it says it's 11 and a half inches high. In actual fact this number isn't, it's the bounding box that goes round it that's 11 and a half inches high. So if you ever want to size a letter or a number and you have this effect here with the box, while it's selected if you right click and hit divide and then click back onto your number you will now see the bounding box hugs the number in this case or it could be a letter if you were doing a letter and you can see it's five and a half inches high so as I say for this I'm not going to go into exact measurements I'm just going to show you the technique so I'll use that for now I'm going to go back to the basic shapes and I'm going to drag a rectangle onto the screen and I'm going to position the rectangle so that it's wider than this number and I'm going to squash it down until it's about a quarter of an inch um, high. I'm going to select, drag an imaginary box around both and select them and go to edit and align center. Now I'm just going to select the rectangle and right click and hit duplicate and then do that again because I want a couple of them. So in previous videos I would probably tell you to put this rectangle here, select both and go to edit and hit subtract. I'm just going to undo that a minute because I forgot I need to duplicate the number. Okay so drag an imaginary box around both, edit and hit subtract and that splits this letter in half and again if you right click and hit divide you've got two separate halves. So in the past I've probably shown you how to, so let's say just using the arrows on your keyboard, move the bottom half down, I'll just duplicate this again, position your rectangles like so, just so they overlap both sections select everything, edit center so they all line up and then go edit and weld. So that's one way to do it and then you can type your letters. So let's just go back to the text and we'll use the font on the left hand side this time. Again double click, backspace to get rid of the letters and putting the caps lock on my keyboard or holding the shift key down permanently while I type the word birthday, select it, resize it, I'll just use the arrows on the keyboard to bring this down, put the text in the middle, while it's selected I'm going to create a duplicate because I'm going to need that in the middle, in a minute sorry, 
again move this one back up using the arrows on my keyboard select everything edit center so it all lines up and then edit weld and then if I select this and fill it with black so you can see it that's how to do one but you can also make another copy of this rectangle you can also position the rectangles where you want the split to be so let's say there's good for now I'm going to select everything edit and center that's just so that everything lines up centrally now these rectangles have to be on top of the number now I'm going to select everything but this time I'm going to use edit actually just before I do I'm going to make another copy of that so I'm going to select just these three shapes I'm going to use edit and this time I'm going to use the divide icon so last time I used the subtract the one on the right this time I'm using the second from the left which is divide now it doesn't look as though much has happened but if you click on this middle section here it may be in in separate parts it looks as though this one's all in one and if you hit the delete key on my keyboard you can now see it's taken that away if I'd only taken this section away once you hit delete just select this other half and hit delete so everything has gone now in the middle but these are all still lined up so if I select everything and go to edit weld it will now weld the rectangles to the numbers and again if I fill this in just so you can see it and select the bottom half so I've now got two separate pieces that are all lined up then I can bring the word back in just going to zoom in a bit and again I'm just going to select everything so I've got the birthday and the top half and the bottom half of the number six edit center so they all line up centrally and then in fact I'm going to remove the fill because it's easier to see if they weld and if they're overlapped so you can see that the birthday word is overlapping the top here but it's not it is on the bottom but only ever so slightly so I'm going to just select the bottom half and using the arrow on my keyboard just push this bottom half up and now that's all overlapped select everything and go to edit and weld and then when I zoom back out to fit to the page and I'll fill it in with color so you can see that's two ways of doing it and obviously you can do that with any number it doesn't have to say birthday this could be 25 and that could say anniversary whatever you like really but it's just an alternative way of splitting a letter or a number so you can use the subtract or position both rectangles and use divide and as I say you could you you can resize these from here you could put them on the front of cards what might be nice is to leave the birthday word out altogether and make your split number say fit a 12 by 12 page and put photographs in the middle section here and use it as a scrapbook page anyway I hope you found that helpful please give the video a thumbs up if you like it please don't forget to subscribe if you don't already do so. I will hopefully see you in the next video. Thank you.